G'day YouTube, this is just a quick look at Raspberry OS on the actual Pi hardware itself and just to get a feel for how fast or how slow the actual operating system is. So what I like to do is just run a series of random applications just to get a feel for it and the first one is usually GIMP because I do use this on my normal machine a bit. So let's get that one to load now and see how quick it is. It's not doing too badly, although having said that, it's still loading, and there we go. So it's not too bad there. Uh, let's see, if we were to create a new file, open it up, and something that usually takes a bit of processing is scaling the image. So let's make it full high def, or thereabouts, and click through, scale, and there we go. So you can see that's processing there. So it's not the fastest, but again, probably not as slow as you might have thought it could have been. Now let's try some other things, so let's open up some other applications. Let's try something a little bit ordinary, such as the Office program, so LibreOffice Writer. Try this one, so a fully fledged writer application for the desktop scenario there. Let's get it to load, see what happens, and yeah, not too bad. Let's type away, type away, there we go. So. Not too bad there. Not fantastic, a little bit of lag. Having said that, you may notice a bit more lag than there actually is because I am remote, uh, just remoting through to this machine from my Ubuntu machine. So let's cut out all the nonsense to the left and right there. Let's try some other things as well. Uh, let's have a look. Probably the most important thing is the browser, and I've got Chromium set up here. So let's have a look at basically Google Chrome, how long it takes to load. Now, this is probably where it will let you down more than anywhere else is Google Chrome because if I were to go to uh, the let's see the hardware usage or the task manager we can see that the CPUs are uh, 30 percent there uses a, a couple of hundred megabit uh, megabytes straight off the bat for the RAM there and if we were to jump to uh, site you know YouTube for example why not it's the platform of choice we may see a little bit more RAM usage, but probably more importantly is the the lack there of time it takes to really uh, boot through and load up the whole page. So let's go to something here and jump across to this poor little dog here. And let's jump back to the task manager. A little bit slow to load back to that window there as well, but not too bad. And loading through. Now as you can see it's a little bit slower than even a mobile device or your standard desktop computer but uh, it is actually doable you'll be able to see it now this will be looking a little bit uh, jittery or flickery uh, I can see my actual Pi desktop right next to this machine the actual physical device and it is actually smooth so it's just bearable uh, if you were to downgrade the quality of the video probably even better then but uh, we'll close out of this because it is still a bit of a resource hog so that's pretty much it guys, just a super quick video to show you what it's all about in terms of, uh, I guess, RAM usage, CPU usage, how it holds up under the gun, that kind of thing. So cheers guys, super quick video, hope you've enjoyed.